Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? And... Arthur Glenmore. I don't recall you being invited. Yet here I am. Roderick, may I have a word? What were you thinking? Bringing those soldiers here is sure to set my father off. As if he needs more excuses. I thought you knew better. The Glenmores have sided with us. I want him to know it. I need you to cooperate today, Roderick. And why would I do that? I told you I'd try to talk sense into my father. And you did your part, putting up with Griff. I know how difficult that must have been for you. But it will all be for nothing unless you listen to what my father has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? That doesn't look like good faith to me. There are lords who wield power, and lords who like to make a show of it. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Your soldiers seem on edge. Well, what do you expect? The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M my lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torrin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on, we mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff. That's still our plan. If anyone here should be afraid, it's Whitehill. Agreed. Let's have a look around, see what we find. If this goes badly, what do you want us to do? Just find my brother and get him home. I'll do my best. And if it does come to violence, move to the walls and get behind my men. What's Lord Whitehill planning? 
bloodshed most likely. We won't go down without a fight. Just follow my lead, whatever happens. Are you all right, Mother? I don't know what Lud's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. Not when we're so close. I won't just turn and abandon him. Just stay close to Arthur. If things do get bloody, he's your best chance of getting out alive. Mother, look at this. This ironwood's cracked. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that! That's far enough! Bart from the other side. Welcome to High Point. Lord, my men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you? Rob Stark went to a feast, and look what happened. I'm nothing like Walder Frey. Though you did bring Glenmore soldiers under my roof. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? Called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is. Compared to your pile of timber. Lud, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill. To family. To, to family. family. Now, tell us why we're here. The ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roose Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. As if he'd protect us. <laughs> if you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick, 
This could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace, and you spit at it. I offer opportunity, and you demand more. Need I remind you, you kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Iron Wrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch! This isn't the way to Let get what you want! Let me slaughtering your small folk! Funny you should mention Griff. Have you heard from him, Lee? What are you getting at? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. You didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North! Roderick, how could you? I'll gladly return him if my brother returns home. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! Mother! Roderick! You came, just like you said you would! No! No! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't I swear do by this. the gods if you will- Let him go! Or I'll have Griss This is killed. not what we agreed. Blame him! Not me. If you want to see Griff alive again... You think I get two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? Power! I ought to kill you right now! Because you foresters never learn! I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word! Kill me! And we all die! Let go of me! Go. Go. Please! I'll kill you myself! Roger, do something! Go on then! Do it! What? You think I want? I know you want. Don't test him, Roderick. Just for all your bluster, all your posturing, you care about your son. A white is still a white. You know what, Roderick? You're right. <laughs> Ryan, come here. No. We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. It won't be long, Lord. And when they come, I hope that bastard flays you alive. Hmm. I'm so sorry, Lord. Now listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. We'll need to take those two out first. How many men do you think are in there? Hard to know for sure. At least five, maybe more. To answer your question, too many to fight head on. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. If those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them? Aye. Come on, let's get moving. Beska. Hmm? It's nothing. Just forget it. I
I know Dizor didn't go the way you wanted, but now is not the time for regret. You knew what it meant to me, Asha, and you... It's done now. I'll take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Hey, prove it! What have you heard? Just sit outside the gates waiting. Pfft. Mother of dragons. She wants to scare us. We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So, which will it be? We'll go over the top. You just make sure you clear the way. the easy job. Beacon. They 
break through. I'll keep them busy. We can finish this. Just look at them. Two men. We've dealt with worse. Let's rush them and be done with it. What about them? You afraid of a couple of crossbows? We took on the Lost Legion by ourselves. This is nothing. We end it. We can get out of here. Me, you, Croft. We stick to Croft's plan. Take care of them first. All right. Believe you did it. Croft! Croft! Quit your whimpering. I'm not dead yet. Hear that? It's starting. At High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. I was terrified when you called Lud's bluff, but you knew exactly what you were doing. And now Ryan will be coming home. He'll sleep in his bed, eat at our table. He'll be right here, where he belongs. Restoring our family is just the beginning. Next we'll rebuild, make ourselves strong again. Oh, Roderick, sometimes you sound just like your father. My lord, look. Where are the gods? Dahlia? Duncan? Where's my sister? Elena! Where's anybody? <laughs> Wait here.
<laughs> Come on. Don't be so dreary. It was a joke. I'm sorry, I... I should have laughed. Or maybe you think you can do better. Of course not. I I didn't need to offend you. Perhaps a song instead. I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? No. No? I won't. I want you to sing, Talia. Go on. Roderick! Roderick! Welcome back. State your business now. I thought you'd have more courtesy. Especially after getting to know your sister. We've had a lovely time together. Haven't we, Talia? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been... lovely. And you? I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Ethan was the first forester I killed. Doesn't have to be the last. You don't know what you're in for, Garrett. What you're asking my brother to do. The North Grove isn't what you think it is. You claim to be a leader, yet your own people do not respect you. But we did as you commanded! These aren't cell swords, Asha. They're killers. Roderick! I can't believe I trusted him. I know you and my brother were in contact. Perhaps he told you things. Things that might prove his guilt. Perhaps you're not to be trusted either. Oh, you're not listening, Garrett. Shh! 